In this video, we'll be talking about mixing down to stems inside of Mixcraft. Mixcraft features the ability to export your entire project as stems. Stems are the individual tracks of your song rendered out to audio form, including any effects you've added to them within the session. This feature is useful if you like to separate the creative process from the mixing and mastering process. This way, you can write and arrange your songs, export the individual tracks as stems, and then mix and add effects in a separate session or export your entire mix's stems to master the track in a separate session. This feature is also great for collaboration or remixing, as you may not be working in the same DAW as your collaborator or have the same plugins. To begin mixing down to stems, we'll go up to the top and select File, and then Mix Down to Stems. The Mix Down to Stems window has quite a few different options. In the top window, you can choose the tracks to mix down to stems and enable or disable them with a check mark. Below that, we have the audio options. These allow you to mute the track effects, set the track volume to 0 dB, and set the track panning to center. These features are useful if you want to remove any processing you've done in the session and leave them as neutral files. Below that, there are also some options to ignore automation for the volume, panning, and track settings, the FX, and the clip. Moving over to the right-hand side here, there's the File Info and Settings section. In the Format window, you can choose between a variety of lossless and lossy codecs to render the files. Next to that, you have the Settings. Within this, you can select between a preset or specific settings. One thing to note if you're exporting stems is that if you intend to use these for further mixing and processing, you should export them at the sample rate they were recorded and as either 24-bit or 32-bit files. This way, when you use a lossless codec like Wave, you get the highest audio quality possible. Once you've set up your settings, you can hit OK. To the right-hand side of the settings, there's the stereo and mono settings. These will export your tracks as stereo tracks or mono tracks. If you have mono tracks in your session, when exported as stereo, it will just be a duplicate stereo signal. If you export everything as mono, all stereo tracks will be collapsed to mono. Below that is the file naming convention. You can see how to rename your files specifically with the tooltip below. Finally, at the bottom here, we have the output folder settings, which allow you to specify the folder that all the stems are rendered to. To change the folder, you can click the dialog option here and then choose a new folder on your computer. If needed, you can also make a new folder within this window, and once you have it set, you can hit OK. If you have a specific region of your track you want to export as stems, you can highlight that within your session before going to the Mix Down to Stems window and then check the option here to use the timeline selection. Finally, once you're ready to render your track down as stems, you can hit the Mix button here. The speed at which this will happen will heavily depend on the number of tracks, effects, and other settings within your session, as well as your computer's processing speed, so keep that in mind before hitting the Mix button. By now, you should understand how to mix down your entire session as stems inside of Mixcraft to a specific folder on your computer. And that wraps everything up for this video, so thanks for watching.